on the last episode of Super Lesbian Horse RPG. And now the adventure continues. Iron shoes, horse shoes, there was a weapon, so I guess I'll put it on a uh, rainbow dash. It, hmm, it boosts stack by five, that's kind of huge. Any other equipment we can uh, put on? Apparently not. Items, we got six potions, three adders, and one antidote. Here's poison, blindness, confusion, being single, and paralysis. Ain't that swell? Well, let's just proceed down further then. Is that the end? Are we really already done with your stupid dungeon? Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Twilight, what was the point of this? Friendship! Don't you feel like we've all grown from this wonderful experience? Other than the experience points? Um, no. Well, great. You know, I was actually starting to get sort of pumped for an adventure, but there goes that plan. I'm sorry you two didn't have so much fun. You want to head back to town and look for something else to do? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just forget about this dungeon and do something else. Okay, Rainbow Deer? I guess. Oh, that's uh, that's an actual dead end. You can't actually like uh, go through the stairs there. And yeah, uh, Twilight is definitely has her wings and everything, so... Princess Twilight go. What the heck? I didn't put a wall here. Twilight, how are we going to get back upstairs with this wall in the way? Are we trapped? We're not trapped. We just have to find another way out of here, I guess. Can't you guys just teleport? I know you can teleport multiple ponies at the same time, Twilight. Especially now that you're a princess. I mean, seriously. What if we don't find one? Now what if we never make it out of here? What if no one ever realizes we're gone and we starve down here? That's not gonna happen, baby. It's gonna be okay. What if it's, if it's not okay? But we're not gonna get up out of here by staying next to this wall, so let's try to find another exit. What Rainbow said. I guess you two are right. Let's go, then. Oh, now there's an exit, I bet. Eh, hey, yep. <laughs> we're just walking off the existence right now. Suddenly, a desert. Also danger. Is there a very dangerous evil uh, beyond this place? Girls, I think we should head back. I don't know what's back here. I didn't feel this part of the dungeon. But it's the only way out, so we don't really have a choice for you, Rainbow. But what if there's some kind of scary monster in here? Like a d -d 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 dragon Yeah, I agree with Fluttershy. Let's just turn around and get go back to my place and forget this ever happened. Oh, relax, Rainbow Dash. Aren't you supposed to be the brave one here? Besides, Maybe whatever is in here will give us more opportunities to bond. Won't that be nice? No. Let's save just in case something extremely bad happens. The sign says danger. That means we should leave. I thought danger was your middle name. No, I lied. It's Susan. Now let's bail. Rainbow Suzanne Dash, dear. I know for a fact that your middle school name is actually... <laughs> Middle school name, I completely screwed that up. Your middle name is actually Danger. It's on your high school diploma and everything. Damn. Seriously, it's not too late to turn back. What's calling to you, Dashi? Yeah, Dashi. What are you so afraid of in here? I'm just trying to look out for the safety of my friends. And I'm highly offended by you two implying I have some kind of ulterior motive. Well, sorry for doubting you, Dashi. It looks like there's just a single treasure chest up ahead. And even I'm not afraid of regular old treasure chest. Ooh, treasure? Now that sounds adventure -y. Let's open it. What if this chest is booby trapped? Okay, uh, Rainbow Dash, uh, if your secret porn stash is right in there, uh, we don't mind. It'll, we'll just uh, pretend it wasn't in there and everything. I don't want to go around opening up no booby trapped chests. We're opening a chest and that's final. Save a, a second file in case there's like an alternate uh, turnout right here. Let's ignore this chest. Let's listen to what Rainbow Dash was uh, telling us. Forget that treasure chest. Oh, we never got that treasure. Silly me. Yeah, I was kind of confused when you took a left instead of him straight for the chest. Let's turn around and do that before moving on. Let's not. Ah, uh, but thou must, game developer. Uh, well, let, let's make sure. Let's make sure that uh, there's no Easter egg. Well, uh, apparently we really have to open that treasure chest. Oh, well. Dragon Quest uh, RPG design, you have failed me yet again. 
found Rainbow's diary! Oh god! You hid your diary in an underground cave? Yeah, now just put it back. Absolutely not, Rainbow! This is our reward for going through all this. And besides, I want to see what you have saying there. Flourish, I'm begging you to put it back in the chest! Look at me, Flourish, I'm on my knees and my other knees here! Sorry, Rainbow, but I'm using my girlfriend privileges here. God! Come on, let's see what she wrote. Uh, by the way, uh, I like that uh, Rainbow Dash actually has a custom sprite for this. Okay, let's see here. November 7th, 2012. Went on a date with Flourish Eye today. We went to the inn and got a bite to eat and I had a pretty rad time like I usually do when we were hanging out. Ah, uh, thanks, sweetheart. I'm so glad you wrote nice things about me in your diary. You're welcome, babe. Now, have you read enough of my diary yet? That was boring. Way too predictable for you two lovebirds. Try to find some juicy secrets. I'll just keep reading it from here. Have mercy! Then after that, we went back to Flourish Eye's place and we... Yeah, we should stop. Let's get going. What'd it say? It's private. Sorry, Twilight. Oh, come on. Just let me see what it says. No. Twilight, don't. Just hand it over. Please let go of my diary, Twilight. I just want to peek. Get your hoops off me. Give it here. No! Oh, goodness. Aha! Got it! Now let's see what it says here. Oh, no. Oh, my. Then after that, we went back to Fluttershy's place and we put on our Penny Lane and Pepper Clark costumes and started reenacting the scene from Little Pest Shop in which they try to play catch but Penny keeps getting knocked down by the football just like we do every week. It was gnarly. I told you not to read it! This is the price of knowledge, Twilight! Just look at the disturbing reality you have unleashed upon your poor naive self! <laughs> Let's just go and pretend this never happened, okay everyone? <laughs> no way! I'm gonna tell the other princess everything! This has been a valuable lesson in friendship. Jeez, Twilight, you're really uh, mean in this... Uh, canon story or rather non-canon story this is like the best day of my life oh man 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 you are no man here only mares oh well that was weird everyone got uh, back in place for some reason well uh, I want to finish this dungeon before I finish the video so let's continue what the it's a bit glitchy here um, Dashi yeah babe has this place always been down here it's a bit Strange and unsettling. I've never seen this weird place before. Don't too worry, Fluttershy. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to us down here. If anything tries to hurt my girl, I'll kick it right in the face. If it has a face to kick. Thanks, Rainbow. It looks as if the fabric of reality is falling apart. No, it just looks like the fabric of the floor is falling apart, you dinkus. Quit trying to freak Fluttershy out with your bonding through danger stick or whatever. No, I really mean it. Everything up ahead looks so unnatural. I have a bad feeling about this. And this is the only way out? Looks like it. We should have just stayed home today. Hmm. I like that the music is glitchy right now. Uh, I'm gonna fall through here if I go there. Oh, a couch. Let's go on it. A sofa? Well then. Looks like a pretty nice one too. Hey, you know, I could really go for a nap. I'm pretty tired from all this dungeon business. I'm gonna go pop a squat on this couch and pass out. Really? Right here? In this part of the dungeon that really shouldn't even exist? I'm a sleepy horse, Twilight. You two could go on without me, but I'm gonna take a nap and adopt you two when I risk running into any monsters without a tough gal like me around. Twilight, there's no way I'm going on without Dashi. Of course. Well, I suppose some rest could do us some good. Okay, let's take a power nap then. So is this like a, just a instant heal, or is this a, something I actually have to do for the story to proceed? Yep, it's basically just a instant heal everything. Oh no, another monster. Also, uh, this place is a lot less uh, slow than the previous one, in case uh, you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> mobile, mobile Ferguson appears. I take this uh, little pest, little less pet shop character. Never really watched that show. Frost, pretty basic guys attack targets one enemy. Let's try it. 
Rainbow attacks. Mobile Ferguson attacks. Uh, not quite as strong as a uh, Twisted Goo 2. I kick so many things. Tubular. Hmm. I bet I can actually get that treasure chest. Let's fight all the enemies. Mobile Ferguson appears and most of an egg appears. Let's boil it. While uh, Rainbow Dash and Twilight, uh, uh, no, Rainbow Dash and Thursday attack the other uh, enemy. Ready! Rainbow attacks! Critical hit! Instant kill! Ah, yeah! Not quite an instant kill right there, uh, Twilight. No damage! That thing is super weak. Most of an egg has been defeated. <laughs> Original character appears! Donut Steel! I bet Donut Steel is one of its attacks, actually. Original character attacks. Well, it's okay, I guess. Original character has been defeated. Yeah, we won with the power of friendship. Nito. Ah. Uh, no Donut Steel reference? I am disappointed. Oh look, I leveled up. That's nice. Julio! Oh, a new skill for Rainbow Dash too. Dive Bomb. Something other than kissing Fluttershy. Dive Bomb. An incredibly powerful physical attack. Okay, so this will be my go-to. Let's kill an enemy instantly attack. Fluttershy. Heal everyone. Also, weird graphics right here. Pony love everywhere. Hey, does that enemy actually follow me? No, it's just fast. Uh, these guys again. Oh, let's try out the uh, dive bomb actually. Meanwhile, uh, Frost, uh, the original character, Twilight. Really? That's it? I was expecting super high damage to uh, Rainbow Dash. But I guess it's okay. It's like roughly uh, twice as much as uh, your actual amount of de damage uh, Rainbow Dash usually does. <laughs> I like the random change of music. So many enemies here. Ugh, three enemies at once, really? Ah, we can get a treasure chest right there. Ah, three enemies again. Oh, original character casted Scorch. So the enemies are completely brainless. Even so, uh, it's basically just a slightly stronger attack than usual. So not much to say, really. Um, I don't like it when the music glitched out like it just did right there. Please stop glitching out music, please. I think it might be actually on purpose, but still, it kind of concerns me. Layer one. Oh, two treasure test. Found 50 bits. Can't get that treasure chest there though. Uh, I probably missed some places in this dungeon, but let's get out of here. Save. Okay, what the heck? Oh, it's a boss. Corbros appears! What is that thing supposed to be? Let's kiss each other. Oops. And uh, actually, let's put this... Well, 
I kind of want to put this thing to sleep, but I guess I'll let it uh, do an attack so we can see what it does. Oh, shot attempts to kiss Rainbow. Rainbow attempts to kiss Flutter Shy. Can actually, can kissing actually fail? That'd be kind of stupid. Wow, that's... This enemy is kind of okay, I guess. Uh, deals uh, roughly the same amount of damage as uh, Twister Goo 2 did, all things considered. Let's frost it again. Rainbow dives bombs the enemy. Flurshire attacks. And Twilight casts frost. Oh goodness, that hurt a lot actually. Let's heal up. Meanwhile, dive bomb and uh, Flurshire instant kill this thing. Flurshire uses his first aid. Rainbow dive bombs the enemy and kills it. Corbros has been defeated. Are they gone? Level up! Oh, gosh, I learned a new skill. Herbal Cure. Radaku and Twilight hasn't learned anything else. Also, we got a massive diamond. Okay, what the heck. Well, that's taken care of. I guess that Corbros got stuck down here like we did. Now, how are we gonna get out? Oh no, not another monster! Hey! Name calling won't get, won't get you very far, you know. What do you three think you are? You think you can just barge into my dungeon, pummel every living thing in sight, and call me a monster? Um, what do you have to say for yourselves? Oh my goodness. Okay, two things, dude. One, if you keep trying to scare my girlfriend, I'm gonna have to kick, your squ kick you square in the face. Two, speaking of squares and faces, What's with the videotape? Oh, my head is a strange one here. What about yours with those weird ears and the scruffy rainbow hair? My head is rad to the max, just like the rest of me. I sincerely doubt you actually took the time to mathematically calculate your radness, whatever that is, to calculate how close it is to the maximum. It means I'm cool. What does temperature have to do with anything? It means my hair looks nice. Oh! I do have to admit, the hair is pretty nice. Thanks, man. I guess your tapes need too. And your eye is quite piercing. Wait, what are we supposed to be discussing? I don't think this conversation would literally be about my admittedly handsome face. Oh, right. You three are trespassing. What are you doing here? Other than wrecking up the place, that is. We've already covered that. We, we were trapped in here. By mistake. We were just looking for a way out and trying to defend ourselves. Honest. Figures. Just three locals just barging into my dungeon before we're even ready for guests. So you're responsible for all this? You made this dungeon whole dungeon by yourself? Yes, this dungeon is of my design. Well, its current form is more of a transitional phase, but it was still shaping up quite nicely. That is, until you three stomped on every last soldier you found in here. Even the most of an eggs! Those poor, helpless most of an eggs! Sorry for causing trouble. This dungeon is quite impressive, though. Would you happen to have any tips for fledging designers like myself? What? Twilight's not... Twilight, now's not the time. Um, excuse me, Mr. Javis. Okay, Mr. Javis, sir, what exactly is this dungeon doing here? Oh, I was just making some preparations for my master's arrival. Tighten up the place, you know. These islands are in no shape for her. I've got a lot of work to do. Uh just gonna stop this right here. Does this guy uh, kind of remind you guys of the Lord of the Games from uh, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts? That's kind of what I immediately thought about when he originally appeared. Your master? Who's that? Haha, <laughs> whoops, I probably already said too much. I'm letting you three off with a word. You're lucky I have better things to do right now than fight you. Just for future reference, try not to wreck anything else of mine, okay? But I love wrecking. Well, then I have some good news. Good for the three of you, at least. Terrible for me. We already established that you three don't care about my feelings. It looks like a scrambler is about to explode thanks to you. This whole place is going to be gone in a matter of seconds. Such a shame. I'll be leaving now. Wait! Well, at least we didn't be gone uh, with the thing. Well, that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Are we alive? That's a good question. Twilight, is this pony heck? 
It's a cave. That doesn't exactly answer the question. Where'd the dungeon go? Looks like it's gone. Oh, thank goodness. I was starting to think we'd never get out of here. See, what I tell you, babe? You got nothing to worry about me when I'm looking out for you. Thanks, Tachi. I don't know what I'd do without you. Neither do I. I can't believe it's all gone. What a waste. Twilight Dungeon was bogus. I know, but it was such a good learning experience. I wish I'd taken a notebook with me. Well, next time the fabric of reality starts to fall apart and you get stuck in a weird dungeon build by a talking videotape wearing a poncho, I'm sure you'll remember to bring a notebook and a pen. Now let's find a way out of here. Uh, actually, I'm going to stop this video here because uh, I'm going to keep uh, the exit of this cave for a spoiler for both me and you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a very nice day. I'm, I'm hoping I'll be able to put in some polls for this game as uh, well as I did uh, for uh, Pony Fantasy 6, but I can't guarantee anything because I don't know too much about this game. So again, I hope you all enjoyed this game and I hope you have a very nice day. Uh, see you next time for part 2. So far, this game has been uh, pretty well self-aware, but... Uh, Engine-wise and combat-wise and gameplay-wise, it hasn't been all that great. Even so, still hoping to uh, play the rest of this game. See you later!